Okay, it'd be recording. Okay, hi, I'm Phil Puklinski here with Practical Lab Keto. Uh, I'm going to give you a, one of our cross wrists, our cross wrist number two. Uh, it requires something called a triangle step. So before we go much further than this, let's cover what a triangle step is and what its purpose is. So if you just stand up, so whatever. Everything's relationship to where your opponent is standing. These two feet make the bottom of the triangle. When I take a triangle step, that means that when I step, my foot is going to be the triangle. The reason we have to have a triangle step is when I'm stepping through with the technique. If I step here, short of the triangle, when I step in, you'll look at my center in relationship to my opponents, and all I did was match our centers. I did not take my mass through its center. When I triangle step, there's the pyramid, there's our triangle. When I step through, now you see my center is here and his center is here. So I've taken my mass, my body weight, through his center. I own that piece of property now. So cross wrist number two, or cross wrist number two, is just called counter grab, we grab here. Again, everything is in relationship to where our starting point is. Am I starting from here? Am I starting from over here? Every time in class, we always just square up. So I counter grab, and I triangle step, and at this point, depending on how or where we started, in this case, I'd have to step one more step with my other foot, so I would go to here. I'm stepping to where this is now based against my body. And once this is based, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this elbow, much like I would take a ball and pop it on my arm, send that ball up. That's what we're going to do to this elbow. Counter grab, triangle step, strike. Now this is against me, it's basing, I keep it right there. This hand here is just gonna go right on top. A lot of people wanna do this. Don't do this, you're taking away from the lock. Trap right here at the end and keep your arm against you. Now at this point, I gotta drive with my shoulder and I'm going to C-step and trap this outside leg. So I'm driving with my shoulder all the way until I C-step in and I'm touching. Where are they going to go at this point? Okay, at this point, I just continue this core rotation. Okay? Counter grab, triangle step, strike while it's based, drive with the shoulder, C step through while I continue to drive with that. Now, a lot of people want to do this. They're going to, they're going to screw this up. They get the triangle step, they do this, and then they do this. They leave this here, they step. Look where my body weight is. I'm leaning over up on my heels, and they're going to try and drag this through. It's not going to function correctly. Counter grab, triangle step, base strike, wrap on top, C step, and then we'll just continue that rotation. That's the official book method of doing our cross wrist number two. Now, after you do the book method on all of our techniques, what I'd like you to do is combat applications on it. That's where you're maybe going to shortcut it have variations of the same technique or similar technique. Maybe I dip in here and I do the strike here, and instead of doing that uh, step through with the C-step, I drop down and bring this right on top of the shoulder and stand up. That might be a combat. Step in, try, strike, and instead of C-stepping there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step around and send him slinging across that way. So any variation of those things. Um, and that is our official cross wrist number two. And try to do this with your cut your partner too. Don't always start all of your techniques here. Maybe start it from this position here. Now, if I'm going to do that technique, with a big step, I got to take a triangle step on that. Kind of grab a triangle step. Now, because of my position, I won't C step. I'm going to drive straight through here. Boom. And once you're understanding that all we're doing here is basically basing this and then applying an arm bar to this. Think of it as third-party intervention. Maybe he's having words with somebody, a friend of mine, whatever. I come in here, I latch it up. What do I got? Can I take him down to the ground with that? Yes, sir. I can. Can I run him into his buddies that yes, might sir. be joining him? I can. Can I run him into a wall or a sheet of glass that might be there? Yes, sir. By accident. Yes, sir. <laughs> By accident. Accident to happen. So anyway, that's our official cross wrist number two. Have fun with it. Don't forget the triangle step. And drive with the shoulder when you're C-stepping. Train smart, train hard. Phil, have a good night.